What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to the channel. We are here on Massacre the Bazaar. This is the Forest Crossroads remake that came as part of Episode 2 in Dungeon Defenders Awakened. And we are going to take on this one focusing on uh, uh, summoner defenses throughout. Uh, let me make sure I don't have any uh, specialty runes in there. Uh, I am going to DPS on the summoner. Uh, additionally, I'm going to throw down some spiders. I am using the spider's poison rune. And then I think we'll probably throw some sirens in the mix as well. Uh, no runes there on the siren. But let's go ahead and get started and build it on out here. Uh, we've got, what, 100 DU to work with. And I think we're going to want to start off with some auras. Let's see, do we want to bring this back? Let's just bring that back to there. I think this area, we are going to actually try to camp them right up front here. Uh, we'll get an ensnare aura there. And then for the back lane here, we'll drop an ensnare aura there as well. Now, I thought about going walls on this build, um, but I don't think we're going to need it. So, not going to go with any walls. Uh, do you want to focus pretty heavily on sirens and spiders, though? So, let's see. How do we want to do this? Let's go... Um, let's go three sirens. And then we'll go two... Or maybe even three spiders as well. Do we want to go two or three spiders? Let's just go two spiders uh, for now. We'll see what the DU works out with. Uh, of course, we're going to want a buff beam on all this stuff. Let's see, we can probably fit a 3DU buff beam here. Let's check it out. Get it in there tight. There's three. I think three is a little short. Let's just go ahead and go with four. And then, of course, a reflect beam as well to protect all this stuff, so... Let's go something like that. Let's actually do this on each one of the lanes. Uh, I'm going to do this area last because I think... I'm not sure exactly how I want to do it. I know that there will be a lot of double dip here. So uh, let's just go ahead and build out this lane with the exact same sort of setup. So we'll go... Um, let's see, we'll go with the sirens first. I think this might end up being a little bit tight on the DU uh, with this this much here. Let's see. And then a buff beam and a reflect. Doing good there. Okay, we've got 45 left, so that's actually a nice amount. I think we want to go with two different setups, or can we... I'm curious about this cactus right here. Are we going to have line of sight issues if I build, like, right in the middle right here? Uh, not really certain. Uh, in fact, let's just go ahead and elevate them just a touch. Uh, we'll put them up on this ridge. Of course, we've got this little cactus there as well then. But let's see. Uh, we'll have to see how those projectiles are reflecting. Or if those projectiles are being blocked at all by uh, by the terrain there. Let's see, do we want to go four here? I think we've got enough to go four here. So let's go four sirens here. Now, sirens, remember, are an AoE defense, so that uh, shot will splash and hit multiple targets. Um, and then I think here we can go three spiders, maybe? Can we sneak another one in on the corner? I mean, we'll have to go with a longer uh, buff beam, but I think we'll be all right. Let's go ahead and buff them all up. And then, uh, what do we want to do with Reflex here? I almost feel like we want, want to use multiple Reflect Beam segments just because of how the terrain is here. Let's see, let's get one like that. Like that, and then... It's a little wonky there in the middle, but shouldn't be too terrible. And then that leaves me 10 DU left. I think with the 10... Just for safety's sake, we'll throw in uh, gas traps all the way around. Give each lane a uh, gas trap here. And I'm curious as to how this one's going to hold up. Uh, we're going to end up with one additional left. 
Let's see. Let's just go with uh, a reflect beam right here, since there will be a long line of sight shot there. All right, so let's get this area jacked up. I'm just going to spam upgrades into it. So we got the buff beam all the way up. And then we've got all the sirens and spiders up to tier two. Let's do the same thing here. Uh, spam it up. And then I'm just going to dump the rest in this lane. Now, since this is a double lane, this is where I'm going to uh, focus most of my energy. Uh, let's check it out and see how it does. Of course, they're all shooting back. We have spider spawns on the inside quite heavily. It's actually looks like it's clearing. Looks like we do have projectiles uh, hitting terrain here. That's what all these explosions are from, I believe. Actually, is that hitting this terrain, or is it the sirens are throwing at enemies over here and hitting? I think they might be. You know, I think I might want to change this area and build everything just up top here. It's going to be a little bit sketchy, but I think that will get it done quite well. Now, this map, of course, is extremely farmable with, um, like, the PDS is incredibly powerful in this map. Uh, lots of good choices there. Uh-oh. We took a shot. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to move that stuff back to give a little better line of sight here. But let's see if it will hold through the wave. We still have some copters coming in hot. Let's uh, see what happens here. Now, the spiders are an absolute incredible addition, but one issue that spiders do have is when their target dies, the, the shot kind of flies off to nowhere. So definitely some issues there. Uh, we got ogres pushing in. They are smacking all the faces. Oh yeah, we're going to get wrecked right here. Wow, when that ogre did finally start taking shots, it got burned so hard. This may actually hold, even with the face palm here. Now, here we go. We got skellies. Now, that's only skeletons, so they're not going to damage the core, Kurt, of course. It actually kind of looks like it's going to clear. I mean, I don't want to jinx it or not. We got a mage coming in now. If that mage doesn't get taken out, uh, or no, the mage got taken out. We got a little goblin rolling in now as well. Looks like it got smacked. Even with the face palm there, um, we got the clear for the first wave, which is kind of unexpected. I was uh, really thinking I was going to get steamrolled there. All right, so let's get everything repaired up, and we'll move uh, those defenses around just a little bit here. This particular act, uh, you know, this is the rune that I'm really looking for, that spike trap rune. It's actually the only rune in Act 5 that I have left to get uh, a golly version of, and it just will not drop for me. Uh, quite tragic, quite tragic. So what we're going to do over on the other side, because we did have all those collision issues, is we are going to move everything up onto that hill. I think that's going to eliminate any sort of collision issues. Uh, I think we can leave the gas trap right there where it is. But yeah, if we build up on that little um, little terrain feature, I think that will... I think it will remedy those collision issues. We'll have to see here. The build itself will be a little touch on the wonk side uh, as far as uh, symmetry and everything, but that'll be all right. All right, so let's see. Let's go, what do we want to do? Let's go Siren. Trying to leave room for a reflect beam over on that side. I'm not sure how well that's going to work out, but. Uh, so there's three Sirens. Let's go with uh, some spider action. So we still got lots of DU left. Let's go. Um, let's go two more spiders right here, and then see if we have enough to buff it and reflect it. A little wonky here, but 
I think we will uh, be able to get the job done. Let's see here. Maybe. And there's a buff beam, man. Now, if I went with a reflect kind of like that, I think that will give me a small amount of protection. And, of course, we're going to want a reflect across the front as well. Something like that. I'm not overly concerned with this side because I think there's plenty of targets there for enemies to throw at. But I am a little nervous about right here. Not sure how we want to reflect that or if that will even work. It might. It might. Okay, now that's going to leave me four DU left. What do we want to do with the four? Hmm. Well, we could throw in an explosive trap, maybe. Let's back the gas trap up and get it on the beam. And then we'll get an explosive trap on the beam as well. I think that will help things out just a touch. And then we've got one DU left over, so I guess I might as well just go ahead and reflect this side as well. Uh, just in case there are any pro stray projectiles coming that way. So, a little bit wonky here on uh, Summoner Hill, but I think this might get us done. Let's uh, let's try it out here. Now, this uh, map drops Hamel, the camel. Uh, of course, it is a pet version of this guy right here. Uh, actually does decent range single target DPS. How are we holding up over here? Oh, you know what? I lost that ensnare aura over there, and I never rebuilt it. That's probably going to end up being a problem. It looks like the, this wave is going much, much smoother, though. One thing that spiders really, really do shine at with that kind of weird high arc is flyers in all forms. So, gin, copter ogres. Uh, spiders just do an absolutely incredible job at those. Uh, and they are special enemy targeting, so, like, they should switch over to these copters soon, or they're focused on that lichen. Okay, yeah, you see, as soon as they switched over to the copters, it was just pure face roll here. So, I mean, to be honest, I really think that the MVP of defenses from the summoner is definitely the spider, even despite its wonkiness with, uh, you know, how it targets enemies and then losing its target if the enemy dies. It just does incredibly well, so good, good stuff there. We're getting it here now. Looks like this is uh, much, much smoother. We did have an ogre make the push in. Some skelly, skellies running down. I'll have to get rid of this explosive trap and get an ensnare aura back down there. The ensnare aura would make a pretty massive impact right here on this lane, uh, considering I don't have one. These other lanes are just getting handled, though. So, I mean, the Siren is not, like, breaking any records or anything for the damage output that it does. However, it is nice damage. It's, you know, it's a 4DU tower, so you're not having to spend a fortune on it. And it's an AoE splash as well. So, I mean, they do not terrible. You know, they're definitely not too, too terrible. Uh, let's see. I think we want to dump... Where do we want to dump? Let's just dump into this lane. Let me get rid of this explosive and go back with uh, with an ensnare instead. Let's just go uh, right about there. That should help things out quite a bit. And then let's just dump into this lane. Let's see if we can't get that uh, buff beam targeted here. Oh, it's already maxed. We'll just spam into the spiders and sirens right here. It seemed like the other lanes did really, really well. Here we just had those collision issues with the uh, with the landscape there. But here we go, wave 25. Let's see how it does. Get up in here and get a little action in on the summoner. I don't, I don't want it to uh, be clear in the lanes. I think the summoner has proven itself to be a very effective lane clear uh, for DPS uh, without a doubt. It's not the single target king, but boy, can a couple of little bombers just really clear some lanes, that's for sure. Actually, it looks like I've got a striking gemstone equipped. So this is actually only one. Yeah, holy crap, I didn't realize. Maybe I should look first. This is actually only one little bomber. It's uh, a little bomber and a striking gemstone. 
So a little bit of derp there, but it appears that we're going to get the clear. We, we're we just about through the start. You know, of course, the start of the wave is when all those special enemies dump and really the, the hardest portion of the wave. Once you get through that initial uh, dump of enemies coming out, are they going to handle this copter? Uh, looks like my little bomber's going to. And then additionally, something that you don't really hear many people talking about, but the range on just about every summoner defense is just insanely good. Uh, has incredible range scaling, so you're going to be able to cover just massive areas with your summoner defenses, that is for sure. And it looks like um, light work of it. So some little adjustments that needed to be made right at the beginning of the map. But the Siren and the Spider are definitely getting it done here in Dungeon Defenders Awaken with this Episode 2 update. So very, very nice. Let's uh, see what kind of camel we got here. Did we get a super hottie? We got a crappy guard chest. Where is old Hamel at? Oh, here he is. Fused Hamel. That one's not fantastic. The .4 is the uh, speed cap on it, but no vitality. So I will have to pass on that one. As you know, you gotta live. But there is a look at some summoner defenses in Dungeon Defenders Awakened. Uh, now I am gonna be doing a fresh start of DDA starting uh, here just shortly in a, a couple of hours here. So I, I kind of like to go through and check out the new player experience as new large game-changing updates hit the game. And episode two is without a doubt seriously game-changing. So I am going to be getting that fresh start going here shortly. But that will do it for now. Thanks an absolute ton for watching. And I will see you next time around. Take it easy.